Hello everyone, this is Chirag. Today I am gonna be talk about Bandit Minor Control Deck. So stay tuned. My future video is on ranking of legendary cards after Mega Knight, and second video is guide on how to become a pro in Clash Royale. So stay tuned for more Clash Royale videos. Hey, welcome again. Best deck series continues on GWC. Today we will see best bandit deck, which is requested by Tomer Cohen. This deck in the meta with best minor poison combination. With 2.8 elixir cost, this deck is very powerful in the defense with execution and tornado. Try this deck and please comment below how this deck works for you. And don't forget like and subscribe. Anyways, let's start the guide. In this deck, we have Bandit, Miner, Poison, Executioner, Tornado, Zap, Skydan, and Ice Spirit. First, we talk about cards breakdown. First card is Bandit. Bandit is your main win condition. This card has unique dash ability that synergizes very well with Miner. You would want to use her mainly as your offensive card. Sometimes you can use on defense if needed. You may use her as an opening card. This card cannot be replaceable. Your second card is minor and your secondary win condition. You should use this guy as an offensive unit because of the same reason to the bandit. His special ability is unuseless on defense. Don't replace your minor with ice golem or knight. Your third and fourth card is executioner and tornado combination. Your main defensive unit with the help of tornado and executioner you can shut down any push. So executioner is also a best spell bit defender. Tornado can activate your king tower with the just 3 elixir and even clear swarm in emergency. In short, this card is just too versatile. Also, no replacement for these two cards either. Your fifth card is poison. Also a win condition in the way. This spell is like a wall clearing out air and ground swarm and can be placed anywhere in the arena. This spell is usually used with a miner and bandit to clear the way of those two. Also, no replacement for this card. Last three card is Skeleton, Ice Spirit, and Zap. This card is used in Cycle the Deck, used on Defense and Kite Troops. General gameplay, early game, basically you have to figure out what their counters and defend. Don't send heavy push like Bandit, Minor, Poison. Otherwise, the opponent would have a massive advantage over you. You can send alone Bandits or Minor. Do not drop the Executioner first. If you open and drop a tank, you can either rush, don't overcome it, or deploy an execution on same lane. You will defend the push perfectly and also will turn into threat if paired with bandit and miner. Mid game, by now you should get a feel about your opponent's deck and know which push is make. For example, if your opponent counter your bandit with skeleton army, go with bandit plus pre zap. Also, if spell can't kill the counter, you should try to beat the counter out. In the double elixir time, you can play the ultimate push, also known as bandit plus minor plus poison. It is okay to overcome it, but don't hesitate to attack. In a overtime, it comes down to speed, and as I said earlier, this deck is very fast, so don't give up even if you are losing, because it is hard for your opponent to defend during double elixir due to the speed of this deck. Matchups for this deck, Hog Rider decks, it should be fairly easy to defend it. Beat down deck. Use the Exenado combo to wreck their push. If it is not enough, use the rest of your card to kill the support or the tank for executioner. Graveyard. You have three OK counters to the graveyard. Bandit, Skeleton and the Zap. Minor control decks. This is a very weird matchup. Use Bandit for the Minor and counter push with Minor and Poison. Royal Giant Dex, Bandit and Skeleton to kill Royal Giant and Executioner if the opponent drops a minion horde with it. Don't forget to counter push spell with Dex, Extranado to the element other swarm and the zap for barrel. Conclusion, this decks rely heavily on Extranado combo for defense. So don't waste those cards or you will be punished hardly and don't forget to counter push if possible. Remember this advices and you will be pretty good against any deck. That is for now. Any questions, comments or insults, post them in the comments below. I hope you like my guide and have a class day. 
if you like my video then like and share keep supporting me to more clash royal decks for this you need to subscribe to my channel every best deck for you see you in next meta guide stay tuned peace